Winterfest, a day of family fun. Save the date, Saturday, December 1st, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Holiday market extended until 5 p.m. Bring the whole family to Brooklyn Friends annual holiday market and kids fair. Details at brooklynfriends.org slash winterfest. What do you think is a must-see for new families coming to BFS? No parent should miss the library because there's a nice selection of books. The library or the woodshop? The woodshop. I never heard of a school that has a woodshop in it. And it also smells like wood. I think something that you should miss is the cafeteria because I really like eating. Um, probably all of our trophies. And the lower and upper gym. The maker space. Well, you we must see the art room. The art room, dance. You should also check out the roof. Try not to miss out on the roofs. The roof. Go to the roof. Welcome to The Life, an e-news media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen. And I'm Paul Romano. We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the life of Brooklyn Friends School. See if I can find here. This is a better one. Let me give you this one. Master ceramicist Ellen Kahan has been teaching at Brooklyn Friends School since 1991. We took a few minutes to check into her studio and hear some thoughts about her ceramics program. Thing on the bottom, you just go here with your finger. Now you're making a bowl or a cylinder. It's an expression for people to show their feelings in a 3D world. It's not that easy to express love, calmness, concentration, but with clay, it just comes naturally. And it's a healer for people. It's a meditation no, in you movement. You can see how it's wobbling. Get your elbows on the plastic right over the piece. I think more schools are trying to have a ceramic studio. Nothing like Brooklyn Friends. Now, after many years, have 11 electric wheels, three kilns, a slab roller, a pug mill to re recondition clay and wedge clay, so I don't have to do that for 90 students a semester. Beautiful, Dylan. So now hands in home position, thumbs straight down. We have every kind of tool imaginable. But we also make our own glazes here. We work with high fire stoneware clay. We make our own glazes. Everything is safe to use, microwave safe, so anything the students make as functional pottery, they can use their now whole you're lives. you're coming up with your left fingers in, right fingers out. So it's a ninth and 10th grade class they learn how to center the clay. Some of them learn in a matter of weeks, some of them take a couple of months. And then they have to make a series of dessert bowls, soup bowls, salad plates, dinner plates, cups and saucers, or mugs. They start mid-September, and most of the work is done by the end of May for the art show, the annual art show. I started teaching ceramics at Brooklyn Friends in 1991. Uh, we had one wheel and one kiln at that time. <laughs> so we've grown, we've grown. And so there are formal ceramics classes from fifth grade to 10th to 10th grade. And there's a very strong after-school ceramics program. Don't let it get too wide, Lily. Careful, that top is flying out. You want to you want to bring it up like a wide cylinder like hers and then the last 10 20 seconds you make your Well, I think it yeah. will continue because it's very popular with with parents, especially parents who want their children to be exposed to as much art as possible. It's another form of education that they will use their whole lives. And we talk about ancient cultures uh, in, in ceramics. 
the difference between Eastern and Western pottery, how this all grew, uh, when the first wheels were used, as well as we do a lot of hand building, especially in middle school. We try to have a guest artist every other year. We've had, um, we had someone from Kenya, We've had a couple of different artists from Mexico, from Oaxaca, where I also studied ceramics. We had a Japanese artist who I studied with years and years ago in Japan, who was in New York for an exhibition, and he came and gave demonstrations for the entire school. You see that? Okay. It's so funny, I commute from New Jersey, and people look at me coming to school in jeans and sneakers and wonder what kind of job does she have, and then they see me on the express bus home with my sneakers completely full of clay, <laughs> and they, they say, oh yeah, she must be an art teacher. Now we're making the line, and now you'll go in the center, okay? Good. Thank you, Ellen Kahan, for everything you do for Brooklyn Friends School. And everyone, let's remember to let your life speak.